yo yeah, yeah, yeah. okay i don't know why i'm so uh, giddy right now but anyways topic of this video is rappers who are way 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 too young and the main one we're gonna be talking about is this kid named lil rt he's literally like a little kid too which is crazy but recently He's been blowing up for his song 60 miles which if you listen to is like i guess pretty explicit especially for a nine-year-old so think about that he's supposed to be in about third or fourth grade but instead he's rapping and um it's been getting a lot of headlines and you're probably thinking what could this fine young gentleman have said to cause such a ruckus well i would read it out loud but it's a lot funnier when this one lady named candace owens says it so here's the clip the lyrics that came from this song as being performed by little RT, the maybe six, maybe nine year old, reads, if she ain't sucking bleep, Lil B-I-T-C-H, you can get the F up out my S-H-T. Hundred round, hit him with the Glock, take an effer down, hundred round, B-I-T-C-H, we in that kill, we gonna take him down. 12, get behind me, that's the cops. We gonna do 60 effing miles, yeah. So to understand that, he is basically talking. You know, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, not that clip, just heard the song in general, I was like, damn, this is pretty hard. And uh, the lyrics, they weren't too bad for a rap song, but I do kind of agree with her, like, and I'll get into this later in the video. If I saw a fourth grader or third grader saying this, I'd be like, yo, this kid needs help. Like, what is wrong with him? And if you were in third and fourth grade, actually, I, I didn't even know what these things were when I was in third or fourth grade. But she gave some more criticism and I'll just piggyback off of that. Here's what else she had to say. This completely saddens me. It is the destruction of black culture. It is the destruction, therefore, of American culture. And this is what we are starting to see. His mother is promoting him on Instagram. If you think that there's a problem with this, if you think that this content should be pulled down, I do, then there's something wrong with you and you're jealous. People in the comments are calling this person Coco Felon, okay? And to think that this is a mother saying that, oh, he's talented, people in the comments saying, well, he's talented and she's trying to help him pursue that path. No, 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 no. This is a kid and I hate to say this because we've seen so many instances of this in the media, who will end up dead, okay? He is holding dollar bills, talking about killing people. If you think that his mother is setting him on the right path, then it's because you're an idiot, okay? You are an idiot who contributes nothing to our society. So she talks about a couple of things. She says, yo, you're an idiot if you think this is cool. You're an idiot if you think this guy's quote unquote talented. This mother is completely failing him. And this is horrendous, especially for black culture. So she's saying, you're making African-American people look horrible. This is bad. This is really stupid. What are you doing? And eventually she goes as far to say that this kid is going to be popped. I don't think so. But that last part. But I do agree with some of it. Like it is really weird. But before we talk about the whole like ethical stuff and the moral stuff, I do want to get one thing out of the way. She said that he's not talented. That's just like outright wrong. Like this kid is hard. Like this guy knows how to rap, you know? And that's one of the things you just have to acknowledge. Like all these child rappers are prodigies. That might sound kind of corny to you, but you can't pretend like they're not. The thing about the young rappers that are coming up today that makes them different from the ones that were coming up a couple years ago or not a couple years ago, but like years before is that being young, rapping has kind of lost its shock factor. I mean, it's still there. Like I bet if a regular dude made the song Lil RT made, he wouldn't have blown up. But you have to be pretty good these days to be young and blow up. You can't just be all right. You can't just be below average. You have to be good. You know, think about Tana. Think about La Tyler. These guys are good. Go on social media. You'll see tons of rappers these kids age. Every kid can download BandLab on their phone today and rap. So the age thing doesn't hit the same. The market is just kind of saturated to a point where like these kids aren't going to go up off of just being young. So all of them are really, really, really talented. But what I wanted to talk about is like Lil RT, Lil Tyler, and sure, let's even put Tana into the conversation because he was also really young. I think he was like 14 or something. Lil RT is nine and Lil Tyler was 16. And uh, I was watching a video the other day, I think it was by Save the World and not the other day, like a month or two ago. And he's talking about how Lil Tyler was getting groomed. It was like a music video with him and a bunch of girls that were way, way, way older than him. And Save the World was just like, yo, this is super weird. The same thing has actually happened with Lil RT. He went on Kai Sinat's stream and he said something crazy. I can't even repeat it. It has to do with the letter R. And I don't think he knows what the word means. I think he just heard it from somewhere, which is kind of what that lady, Candace Owen, was saying. Like, this kid is way too young. And it's because, and I mean, the reason he's saying this is because he's being encouraged to by the people around him. 
so that lady Candace Owens is kind of right she's also saying that this is just a horrible failure of like parenting which you know I like somewhat agree but you know they're just doing like yo this kid is talented he blew up on social media and they're just going out with it one thing I will say is there's a video of him that I don't want to play but anyways they show him a piece of paper and he's like yo what is this I can't read this and he's in like fourth grade like you should know how to read it was like a sentence so he can't read and basically what she's trying to say is yo this kid does not have basic skills and I'm not gonna lie like that clip of him not being able to read is kind of sad like he's like almost 10 years old and he can't read like he's illiterate or he might become a he might just grow up and be illiterate or he might be really 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 old as a kid when he learns to read like i'm pretty sure in fourth grade you start reading books yeah i was reading books by that time but you know come on at least be able to read a sentence so he's not exactly growing up in the best environment he, i guess they're just doing the best with what they have so the whole argument against what is happening with him and like all these other young rappers is like yo these guys are really young and regardless of their talent they shouldn't be put in this situation this shouldn't be promoted this shouldn't be normalized their parents are failing them yada 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 but Lil RT did an interview recently and I was watching because I was just intrigued like yo this kid is so young and um, it's by these people named Breativity and it was with this other older rapper named Lil Tony he's really hard and the interviewer asked him like yo what do you have to say to these people that are saying this kid is too young to be doing this and you're just a bad influence on him and he gave his point of view. It's his fault. This is just where he come from. from you yeah. can't blame Lil Bro like he from the hood. He, he ain't seen rainbows and, and, and all this everybody be talking about you feel yeah. me lebron see see real life shit, so he a fast he a fast he young man fast as exactly hell, yeah. but now i got him under my wings so i'm gonna have him doing the right things and shit, you feel me but i can't stop something that he been he used to you see what i'm saying because yeah. at the end of the day i try to tell lebron i try to help lebron as much as i can but i'm not his father he yeah. go he go back to his mama and his uncles at the end of the day so whatever he do at home that's what he's gonna continue to doing so i can't stop that you know what i'm saying but his mama and all them make sure he's straight too but i'm just saying at the end of the day what he do like lebro gonna do what he do because i'm not yeah. gonna be with him 24 7. you see what i'm saying but while yeah. he with me i'm gonna make sure he, he moving right, right and shit, yeah. you see what i'm saying yeah. but lebro it's not even what what the internet think lebro all he do is play video games all day and make music yeah it's just the internet try to make him out to be some he ain't you feel me he yeah. just you know, trying to get some money for his family that's pretty much it though so that clip is about like a minute long and uh, i'm not gonna lie for part of it he's just like dodging the blame he's like yo i just met this kid like he's just been doing this blah, blah 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 but after a while he does say some things that are right you know he grew up in this environment like he's not a regular kid like Candace Owens, she's very rich. I think she and her husband sold their company to like Kanye for millions and millions of dollars. So you know he doesn't come from a privileged background. He doesn't even come from like an oak, like a like a family that I guess is doing all right. They're from the hood and they're just like trying to make ends meet, doing whatever. And he was like, yo, he grew up like this. This is his environment. He had to go up fast, and that's how he he was like exposed to these things. That's where he learned these things from. Like he learned from his older brothers how to rap or something, and he just became good at it. And I just met him and I'm trying to put him on the right path. When he's with me, he's always playing video games. He's just doing stuff kids do. But he's going to go back to his house and he's going to be around that. And he's just going to keep learning. And there's not really anything you can do. But at the end of the day, it's over exaggerated. Like he's not actually doing that, which I don't think anyone thinks he's doing. It's just like a bad environment for a kid. Or it's just like not something I guess people would encourage. Another thing about being a child rapper, in my opinion, is that these kids are basically child stars. You know how child stars or child actors, they'll get really famous. They'll do a lot. They'll star in movies, etc. And then when they'll get older, or not even old, just they'll become a teenager. They'll just fall off the face of the earth, earth, and then you know they'll start abusing substances, doing all these things, and they get addictions, and they can never like come even close to where they were as kids. You know, we've seen that with movie stars that were kids. I think the kid that did Home Alone, he had a crazy story. And there's so many musicians and other cases of like actors and whatnot. I think the same thing is gonna happen in rap. Like I'm not saying it's gonna happen to Tana, Lil Tyler, or even this kid. There's a high chance that happens to this kid though unfortunately because he's just so young but like you know not everyone is gonna blow up or even be able to maintain the same amount of relevancy like this guy is nine years old so think about now think about when you were nine and how different rap was and how rap is gonna be in nine years in nine years rap is gonna change so much and he's only gonna be 18 years old if he even sticks nine years which the lifespan of rappers is like three to four if you had a long career it's like five years that's why everyone's like yo drake is insane because he's been at the top for like 10 but you know that's an outlier but yeah i just want to make this video you know recently this kid's been blowing up he was on kai sanat stream that's where he said that one thing that was wild but he did a bunch of other he's having like a bunch of uh just news about him and people talking about him that's all i really had to say to be honest i'm a bit conflicted like i'm not gonna lie if he drops a song i'll check it out because he's pretty good at rapping but i just don't know is it super weird it's definitely weird is it like unjust is it like abuse i don't know it's hard to say i guess he hasn't been around for that long
and I haven't looked into it that much. But um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, see you next time.